Hi guys, this is Tanya from ICD English and today I'm going to share another idiom with you to go cold turkey to go cold turkey gaba 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 <laughs> when my son was a baby he was very attached to a pacifier he wouldn't give it up for a long time we tried so many different things we even poked small holes in it but nothing worked he would refuse to go to bed without it so we finally we said that's it and we decided to go cold turkey we threw away all his pacifiers so we were not tempted to give it to him when he was upset and it worked it took a couple of days but finally he stopped asking for it so to go cold turkey means to stop doing or using something abruptly and completely. I realized then that I definitely had a problem, so I decided that I would just go cold turkey, sober, and I did. But what I didn't realize is that could cause what's called the alcohol deprivation effect. We know that we are not going to get rid of the internet, we are not going to get rid of social networking, we will not go cold turkey or forbid cell phones to our children. These technology are our current partners in the human so adventure. First and most importantly, my friend, put down the compare schlager. Brit, you have got to go cold turkey. I tried quitting smoking for several years using nicotine patches, gums, and even hypnotherapy. Eventually, I had to go cold turkey and rely on my own willpower. I was eating way too much junk food and was gaining a lot of weight as a result. Finally, I went cold turkey and stopped buying anything but healthy food. That's it for today, guys. Now tell me, what is, in your opinion, the best way to break a bad habit? Do you think it's better to do it gradually or maybe it's better to go cold turkey? Please share your stories in the comments below. And also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.